Well, maternity brand Hatch made famous by celebrities like Meghan Markle, Amy Schumer, Kate Upton. The brand now raising equity in a round led by marquee brands that will lead to a newly created parent company bringing a number of maternity brands under just one umbrella. Joining us now is Ariane Goldman, the founder and CEO of Hatch, also the CEO of the newly created Hatch Collective. Ariane, it's great to see you here. So a number of brands now under one umbrella. So it would be Hatch, Motherhood Maternity, P in the Pod, Destination Maternity. You are leading the charge on this. So just talk to us just about why the move and why it makes sense here for your business. Absolutely. I created Hatch almost a decade ago to really provide women with solutions during this next journey in their life, providing them a voice, a brand, community content, and really a, someone listening to them. And in the last um, six months, looking for a capital partner, uh, Marquee Brands and I started to dance a little bit and talk about the potential synergy between their portfolio of motherhood brands, which have huge brand equity, heritage, and really what we were doing in the maternity space is the gold standard from a brand level and how together we could be more of a powerful player. So it's an incredible opportunity right now to be at the helm of this um, you know, strategy and architecture, really consolidating my competition under one purview. Yeah, speaking of becoming a more powerful player, because I know your revenue was up 70% in 2021, up 30% in 2022. This United platform, how much growth are you expecting from a revenue perspective? And I guess, why is it so advantageous? I mean, the market right now is pretty quiet. And so I'm really excited to be well-funded, capitalized. Uh, Hatch will triple our growth this year profitably, which is really exciting. We can get leverage um, across operations, distribution, really make wonderful negotiations with financial institutions. So we can step on the gas when the world around us is a little bit quiet. Um, and now we're going to be poised. 2023 is really going to be spent on synergizing, prioritizing, understanding the business, architecting the lanes between the brands. But moving forward in 24, we're going to be poised, poised for explosive growth. All right, what are you seeing just from a consumer perspective? Because we talk time and time again here on the show on the network throughout the day that we're seeing the consumer begin to pull back in spending or adjust how they are spending. Are you seeing an impact on your brand so far? You know, the beauty about maternity is that it's a need-based niche business. It's not fashion. It's not something that you just choose to want. It's something you need as you go through this chapter as a woman. And so providing women solutions at both price points now, both aspirational at Hatch and value-driven at the motherhood level is going to be a huge win for us because people, when they need a nursing bra, when they need something, when their jeans bust, they're looking to buy something that makes them feel better during this time. And we're going to have it for them. I've been in that position a couple of times before and Hatch has really helped me get through some of the, especially the last six months, which can be pretty challenging trying to find clothes that fit and look flattering at the same time. Ariane, last time we spoke, you recently announced the collaboration, the partnership with Target. And within mm -hmm. that, you launched a uh, brand called By the Nines, I believe. Uh, talk to us just about the success of the Nines so far with Target and whether or not you have similar partnerships in the pipeline. Yeah, so the Nines with Target, um, the Nines by Hatch for Target was an exclusive line that they came to us to design, really taking the Hatch philosophy of beautiful dressing and applying it for a better price point for more women. Um, it was a two-year relationship that was beautifully successful, but knowing that motherhood and P were kind of in our destiny, we've since sunsetted that relationship and that brand so that we can really focus on the mass market play with motherhood and maternity. Um, you know, I'm really excited to be able to design and own this category across both lanes, different households, different price points, but really putting the why behind the product and a female founded driven and really strong leadership team behind all these brands. I'm curious to get your thoughts because I feel like especially over the last couple of years the whole conversation around maternity around pregnant women something that people tried to steer clear of in the past has really gone mainstream people aren't ashamed to talk about it anymore what, what do you attribute this to and I guess how much of it do you think social media plays a role in that? A huge part it's been since I started the company back in the day women were um, scared to tell their bosses that they were pregnant they were nervous about the repercussions of being pregnant in the workforce. And with the rise of social media, editors getting pregnant, selfies, the idea that you can really just show the strength of your bump and be empowered as a woman the last couple of years with the female movement, it's all empowered women to celebrate the fact that we can both work, we can be moms, we can do so many things, which has changed the landscape completely, which is amazing because now women feel comfortable investing themselves. And, you know, fortunately, Hatch has been there the whole time. And now with motherhood, we can provide product that just makes women feel great. And so, so important. Ariane Goldman, great to have you CEO Thanks of Hatch Collective.